In this video, we will send the PLC a malicious program that causes damage to the ICS. Start all of the VMs if you haven't already. Uh, this time you do want to start the workstation VM, but you do not have to start the Kali VM. If you don't already have it open, open the visualization in the browser of your host machine to verify that the plant is operating normally. If the chemical process is still stopped from what we did in the previous video, uh, you can go to the HMI and click on the start button to restart the process. Go to the workstation VM. Workstations are generally where engineers configure ICS components, and that includes reprogramming them. We will be working directly in the workstation VM to show the kind of damage that can be done if an attacker gains remote access to a workstation. Start the open PLC editor by clicking on the black icon on the left. Click the open icon, navigate to the chemical folder, and click open. In the left panel, you will see an outline of the project. Double-click on Main to see the main program. In the top middle is a list of variables, and the bottom middle shows the function blocks and their inputs and outputs. At the top of the main program, you see the function block that initializes the program. And at the bottom, you see the logic for stopping the process, which is triggered by a variable called RunBit. It turns out RunBit was the variable that we were changing in the last video when we sent a malicious Modbus command. Let's open the initialize sp function block to see what it's doing. In the left panel, expand the function blocks category and double click on initialize sp. This function block appears to be initializing all the set points, which are the values that the PLC is trying to achieve. Of interest to us is the press sp c variable, whose value is 55295. Press sp is short for pressure set point, so it's the variable that controls how high we want the pressure in the main tank to be. If we made that value too high, we might cause some damage to the ICS. There's already a program saved on the workstation that can be used to attack the ICS. Click on the open icon again, and this time navigate to the attack folder and click open. If we double click to open main, we will see the program also uses an initialize sp function block. Open the function block category and double click on initialize sp. Notice that press spc in this program is larger, it's 65535. Let's upload this attack program to the PLC and see what happens. Click on the down arrow icon at the top. This turns the attack program into a file that is readable by the PLC. When the file explorer pops up, go to the documents folder. There may already be an attack.st file there, go ahead and overwrite it. Click on the Firefox icon in the left panel. The home page of Firefox is set to the PLC's IP address. Under Change PLC Program, click Browse. Open attack.st. Now click Upload Program. You should get a message saying it compiled without errors. Now go back to the visualization and see what happens. The pressure in the main tank should steadily be increasing until the plant encounters what I think we could safely say is a catastrophic failure. And so you can see the dangers of an attacker gaining access to an engineering workstation in an industrial control system.